Hey guys, Brian the Cell Phone Guy here again. In this video, we're going to take a look at the newest offering from Sonom, which is the XP7 Intrinsically Safe model. Now in the past, we've done several videos featuring the XP7, and this phone is very similar to it with one distinct difference, and that's that this one is intrinsically safe. So what we'll do first is we're going to take a look at what the uh, definition of intrinsically safe actually means, talk a little bit about that, and then we'll go into the features of the actual phone. First, let's start with a, dic uh, sorry, a dictionary definition of what intrinsically safe means. So here we go. It's a type of protection in which the equipment, under normal or abnormal conditions, is incapable of releasing sufficient electrical or thermal energy to cause ignition of a specific atmospheric mixture in its most easily ignitable concentration. Now, three things are required uh, to be present in order for an explosion to happen. First, we need a fuel source, then we need oxygen, and then we need an ignition source. The reason for using a certified IS device is that this removes the possibility of the phone serving as the ignition source. There are two types of ignition sources, sufficient heat or spark, and an IS device is incapable of producing either. Now, there are many classifications around the world, uh, but in North America, we use what is called the class division group system. So what that means is that class one is for the presence of explosive gases or vapors. Class two is the presence of combustible dust. And class three is the presence of flammable fibers or shavings. Now within each of the classes, there are subcategories called divisions. Division one indicates a high probability of continuously present hazards under normal conditions. Now an example of this would be a worker in a gas plant where explosive gases are known to be in the air on a regular basis. Division two indicates a low probability of hazards being present in abnormal conditions for brief periods of time. Now an example of this would be a worker in a facility where propane bottles are stored in an outdoor setting and the possibility of a leak exists, but it's not expected. Divisions are further divided into groups. Now the group type identifies the type of hazardous material involved. So for example, groups A, B, C, and D are used for specified gases present in, spe in specified levels. Groups E, F, and G are used for specific dust types. If you need an IS device, and sorry, you need an IS device if minimizing the risk isn't good enough. You need to eliminate the risk altogether. Now the XP7 IS is rated at class one, division one, groups A to G, which means it covers all risks. And if you're interested in seeing a copy of the CSA compliance certificate, just reach out to me and I can forward it to you. Now, as we've discussed in the previous videos, Sonom's been making the world's toughest phone since 1999. And there are several posts on this channel, including uh, the XP5, the XP6, and the XP7, that you could take a look at if you wanted more information on these specific phones. Now, the XP7 IS device was developed in partnership with Ecom, which is a German company that's been manufacturing uh, IS devices in Europe for over 30 years. So let's take a more in-depth look at the phone itself. Now, the first thing we'll notice when you compare the IS version with the non-IS version, you'll notice that the IS version is significantly thicker. Now, as far as the screen size and the length and the depth and the width, they're pretty much identical. It's just the thickness that's different. So on the phone itself, uh, same as before, you'll see the power button on the top left. This is the push to talk button. If you're on the TELUS network and you, act, and you have access to TELUS link, this is how you make the uh, radio calls. Uh, this is the soft touch button which launches the camera, but it can also be programmed to other uh, functions as well. On the bottom of the phone on the left, we have the backup button, which takes you back one screen from where you are. We have the home button, which returns you to the home screen, which is what you see on the, on the uh, screen right now. And this is the recent activity button. And what this does is it'll bring up everything that you've recently been in and you can scroll through it and uh, pick the one that you want to go back to, or you can erase everything. Uh, on this side of the phone, we have the red button. Now this is for a service called Sonom Protect and other uh, emergency services out there. And what it does is it allows you a quick way to send an emergency alert to a supervisor or a control desk um, or whatever your company has decided is its emergency procedure. Here we have the volume down and the volume up button. On the front, we have the speaker. 
Um, the microphone is down in this corner here. And um, then we have the same standard screen that the XP7 has. Now this runs Android 4.4 just like the XP7. It's got a 1.2 gigahertz quad core chipset with 16 gigs of non-expandable memory. Now one of the biggest reasons for non-expandable memory is they wanted to cut down on the number of openings that the phone has. Uh, this also helps to keep out dust and water and such. Now this thing has a massive battery. It's 4800 milliamps which should give you about a thousand hours of standby or about 40 hours of talk time. The cameras are adequate. The front-facing camera is a one megapixel and the back is an eight megapixel with an autofocus. Now, as you can tell, this thing is neither small nor light. It's roughly the same size as a Samsung S7, uh, but it's about three times as thick and three times as heavy, coming in at an impressive 370 grams. Now, like all Sonom phones, it has a three-year unlimited warranty that even covers accidental damage. So it's not impossible to break this phone, but it is the best warranty in the business. In the past couple of years, I've sold over 1,500 Sonoms, and we've seen a fair number come back for service, but we've never had a claim rejected. The pricing on this phone with a two-year contract on the TELUS network is currently at about $1,300, and although that may seem fairly steep for the phone, when you consider the environment that this phone is uh, manufactured to work in, it's, um, it's great value for the money. If you need that type of device, there is no other cell phone on the market that will perform as well as this one. So that pretty much covers an overview of uh, what Intrinsically Safe is and the Sonom XP7 IS. If you uh, have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me in the comment section. And if you like the video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll be back in a little while with uh, an upgrade on this phone uh, just to show you a few more of its features. Thanks for watching.